Tiny House Prepper. Hi everybody, I'm Bill. And I'm Elizabeth with Tiny House Prepper. And the video that we're gonna have following um, is the very first video we ever put out. And uh, much to our chagrin, after 80,000 views, we had to take it down. Yeah, we had some technical issues on the video and we had to take it down and it broke our hearts because like she said, we had 80,000 views and we lose all those views. So now we are going to uh, republish it. Yes. It is the first video that we ever did about our tiny house, about when we first began to build the re uh, to, to do the renovation. Yeah, when it was just a wreck. Yeah. <laughs> now, we just, we had a few friends on Facebook who lived a long distance from us and they were wondering what we were doing with this new, uh, <clears throat> home that we were, had told them about on Facebook. So I did this little video just to show them what we were doing. We had no idea at the time yeah. that that would launch our Tiny House Prepper channel and we now have 32, 30, almost 33,000 views. I mean uh, subscribers. That's so just, when we did this, amazes us. when we did this video, it, we had, I had a different mentality about it because I was just talking to a couple of friends and here you are, <laughs> everybody's now watching it. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> um, kind of see where things came from if you haven't seen the first one before. Right. Since then, you know, we did updates on, on the renovation all the way along, and we now have a playlist about the renovations that you can watch. And this video was actually the first video in that playlist, and when I took it down, it was missing. And I was getting comments from people saying, hey, what happened to the first video? Yeah. So it's now back up as yep. part of that playlist. So uh, you can see the whole process, and especially for you people who are new to our channel, welcome, by the way. We love yes. to have you, yes. but you may not know where we came from and how we started. So now you'll be able to watch the very first Tiny House Prepper renovation video that we did and then watch the playlist to see the whole process that we did to make this disgusting old place that we bought truly livable. Yeah, yeah, my, my sweet little home that I love. Yep. Okay, so here you go. All right. Here's our very first video. Yep. So this is our tiny house. As you can see, it's actually just a travel trailer. It's a 32 foot long travel trailer. And then it has this attached sunroom over here. So the trailer is about 250 square feet and then the uh, sunroom adds about another 200 square feet, total of 450. Uh, we're in the process of renovating it, and I'll show you inside in a minute. But we're very fortunate to have found this place that used to be a KOA. And uh, they divide, subdivided off the, the campsites and sold them off as lots. Right down the road here, we still have the clubhouse and the, uh, the pool. And we are very fortunate in that it's a tiny house that we actually have water and sewer and electric. Many uh, tiny houses that you see listed online or whatever, they don't. They're just a trailer that doesn't have any uh, amenities attached to it. So we, we consider ourselves fortunate here. I'll show you inside. The lot is about a quarter of an acre, a little less. We've got that shed there. The place is really growing on us. We really like it. We're kind of actually kind of excited about having our life simplified and completely debt-free and having just what we need, where we need it, and nothing more. You can see the little bump out in the back. Now I'm going to be re completely replacing the uh, windows that go across the end because those leak like crazy. Eventually I'm going to put new vinyl siding on the whole thing and uh, I'll add more insulation to the walls as well when I do that because the walls are only two by twos and so there's not much insulation. We also had leaking around the windows because the rain was just running right down the wall and right into the windows so I put this uh, gutter up here and downspout and hopefully that'll take care of the, of the problem of the leaks around the windows. Of course once I replace the windows then that won't be an issue anymore. There's our neighbor's house, that's a mobile home. And this is the back of ours. You can see the bump out there. I still need to put the, uh, the gutters across the back because I'm getting pretty bad leakage right around that window right there, which is the kitchen window. But the gutter should take care of it until I can, put, until I can replace those windows. 
there's a shed from the back side and we're going to tear that shed completely down and rebuild one about twice the size so we have some storage space since we have such incredible in storage, storage and, and whatnot in a little trailer that's a joke now this is the living room when we purchased this place we bought it from a guy who lived here by himself and he owned it for about 10 years and it was really disgusting the guy had never probably cleaned it in the whole 10 years that he lived here and the smell was unbelievable and um, there were three uh, layers of carpet on the floor we pulled all that up it was saturated with with just is just disgusting stuff when we after we pulled it up we found out that this whole corner over here this is the bump out we found out that the whole corner over here had been leaking for years and it was all completely rotted the floor down here was completely rotted so I had to rebuild this whole corner here and then um, redo the floor down there and I thought I had fixed the roof the leak in the roof and come to find out I had not and I spent all summer trying to fix it couldn't get it fixed I had this all put together I had to take it apart again because the insulation kept getting wet so finally I found something called snow coat which is like a rubberized uh, roof paint made for RVs and I put three coats on the roof and that finally took care of the leak problem so I've left this open now for about two months just checking every time it rains and so far it seems to be completely watertight so I'm about to put all that back together again um, <clears throat> the guy had blankets all around in front of the windows plastic and blankets because the windows are those single pane louvered windows and they leak like sieve and it just was not warm in here so I'm planning to replace all of the windows around here with good uh, thermopane uh, windows that aren't going to leak anymore and then hopefully it, we won't have problems with the cold like he did because of the windows were you, you might as well just leave them open they were so bad <clears throat> now this is the living room and we plan to right over here this is a little bump out we plan to have two recliners there which will face this way and then below the uh, window we'll have a desk and then up there up above we have a flat screen TV that we purchased that just fits in that space right above the window and then here we have the kitchen as you can see it's a full-size kitchen though small it's got everything we need now right here is a furnace inside here it's a propane forced air furnace it blows through the vents in the floor but this doesn't work so the previous owner put in this heater to heat the place so we were talking about finishing or re repairing it and then we realized that this heater actually works okay and we're going to put another one like this in the back room in the bedroom and we're going to be able to use this space I'm going to take this out and down here we're going to put a you can buy now a washer and dryer that's all in one unit and we're going to put that in there in here and then up above will be a close cloak I'm sorry a coat closet where we can hang our coats because there's no way to put coats anywhere and then right next to it right here we will have a dishwasher with a countertop all the way across because right now there's no dishwasher so that will uh, give us the dishwasher as well as give us counter space all the way across here because right now that little corner right there is the only counter space we've got and that's not very much and then from here we go into the bathroom we're also very fortunate that we have a full-size tub and bathroom many RVs have this little tiny little toilet that sits inside the shower where you have to sit on the toilet in order to take a shower but we have what we need here and then the sink on this side oh who's that and then back here is the bedroom 
which is tiny. Now we had another leak back here, right above the window, right in there. So once again, this wall is all torn apart. I had insulated over this window and, and eliminated it to try to eliminate some of the cold. You see the windows all the way around. There are all these single pane louvered windows that leak like crazy. So I eliminated the back window. I'm going to replace the rest. But we had this leak right up in there. And so I had to take it all apart again. But I've also finally gotten that leak fixed. And it's been sitting for two months like this with <clears throat> no leak. So I'll be putting that back together soon. Now this bedroom is just big enough that they, it's a bedroom. You put a, uh, we have a queen size bed which will fit in here with about six inches to spare all the way around. So we're probably gonna have to replace this with a double bed. That'll give us a little bit more room. But there isn't any room in here except for anything except the windows. And um, there's some cupboards across the top. And then there's a couple of closets. This one here drawers below and then drawers over here with another another closet and then this is the second door and this goes out to the sunroom which I'll show you from the outside I can't open the door right now because I got OSB leaning against it from the outside but look at this the bottom of this door looks like there's a gap there stick my hand right inside. It looks like somebody used a can opener at some time on that thing. And see the, the way the metal's all curled up? It's just really bizarre. So anyway, I'm going to be completely replacing this door. I found a uh, RV supply store online where I can get custom sized RV doors. So I'm going to replace both of the doors um, and that'll help an awful lot. So we're going back out here now again through the bathroom, into the kitchen, and the living room. Now this door is better than the other one was, but it still has a big gap up here that I have not been able to get adjusted. So I will also be replacing this door with another custom sized RV door. Now we're back outside again. The sunroom is actually fairly nice. We like it. So it's only a three season room, doesn't have any insulation in the ceiling or anything, it's just this, this tin. It's got uh, windows and screens all the way around. You can see there's the other door, the back of the bedroom door, and the OSB is leaning up against it so I can't open the door right now. But out here we'll have uh, our extra couch and, and uh, recliner and probably a second TV and that sort of thing that we'd be able to use at least three seasons out of the year. Um, of course, right now it's all full of construction material. But, um, yeah, so that's it. That's our tiny house in progress. And I will be sure to keep you updated as we get, uh, get it fixed up and moved in. This is October right now. I hope to finish it over the winter. And we will be moving in um, next April um, after the weather breaks. place is a mess. Okay, so there you go. There was our first video. Yep. You know, as we watched it, a couple <laughs> of things struck me. One is that the camera that we had back then wasn't even HD, and the quality of the video is very poor compared to what we're doing now. Um, also, I, I was very shaky when I was videoing. I didn't, you know, I've just 
we've improved a lot, I think, in our... Oh, we uh, sure have tried. I don't think I say, um, every other word anymore. Right, although you weren't really in this video to uh -uh, say that. But my early ones are real ummy. <laughs> yeah. So, we've seen a lot of progress just in our own uh, filming techniques and things. Another thing is that as I watched through this video, I talked about a lot of things that we were going to do with this trailer and it ended up being something totally different that we did. Like I mentioned, we had that one propane heater and we were planning on putting a second one in the back bedroom. Well, it turns out we completely eliminated the propane because it made too many uh, moisture issues. Yeah, way too and now humid. we heat with wood heat and an electric baseboard for backup. So we have a, a number of things like that where you can see here what our plans were and how they've actually changed. Yeah, you have to evolve as things go along. It's a pretty organic process. Right, right. Yeah. So, once again, uh, I'm going to put the, the playlist. Uh, I'll put it right up there. <laughs> it's just to the left of my nose. Yeah, right so that you can watch it if you want to watch the entire um, process that we went through to renovate our tiny house. Yes. And <coughs> we sure appreciate you guys. Yep. And we thank just... you. Thank you so much for all of your support. And 32,000 subscribers that just blows us away when, yeah, we, we're when we did this we had when we did this video we had like three. Oh yeah my goodness yep. I mean at the end of our first year we only had somewhere in around 200 and something right it's right. amazing so. <laughs> all right well, listen bless you guys okay yeah we love you yeah please don't forget to like this video and it helps we need to start over on that th on that 83,000 views we <laughs> <Yeah>. had <laughs> so anyway. like the video and subscribe if you haven't already so you can see all the rest of our our videos and thank you very much for your support. Yep. Bless you guys. Love you guys. We'll see you next time. Yep.